Hey, this is Old Noobie coming to you with a video of how I was finally able to get my older FreeSync monitor to be detected by AMD and actually implement FreeSync. So background of the story is I've got a older FreeSync monitor by a lesser known company called Viotech that's able to do FreeSync and I hooked it up to a new computer that I built with a relatively new graphics card, an AMD RX 6800 XT, and it would not detect the FreeSync capability of the monitor, no matter what I did. And so I went ahead and posted it on Reddit, as you can see here, and um, I, I just couldn't get it to work, no matter what I did. Now, something strange happened as I, as I went through my troubleshooting steps, one of them was I took this monitor and I actually hooked it up to my kid's computer, which has an older graphics card, an AMD RX 480. And the monitor immediately detected as being FreeSync capable. So it wasn't an issue with the monitor being broken. It wasn't an issue with the newer graphics card. For some reason, the older monitor with the newer graphics card would not detect FreeSync. And as you can see here, here is my uh, monitor. Here's my graphics card, the AMD 6800 XT. And you can see here FreeSync saying it's not supported. And here's my monitor, Viotech. And as you can see, it the monitor actually knows that it has a FreeSync capability and I did have it turned on in the monitor settings, but it still just would not detect but it would detect on my kids computer so that got me thinking what happened previously where it would work well it would work where it wouldn't work recently so that goes back to the history of FreeSync now FreeSync came out say around about um, it came out before 2020 and it was kind of the wild west amd wanted to create a technology that would compete with nvidia's g-sync capability and so they created FreeSync. and so it was just as the name implies it was free and so any company that wanted to implement FreeSync could implement it and so that came with a kind of a host of issues where some companies were implementing it well and some companies weren't but what happened in 2020 was that amd introduced FreeSync tiers so as you can see here there's different tiers of free sync and when they did this they made the free sync actually they, they kind of locked it down a little bit more or at least they made it so that the companies had to get certified in one of these tiers so you either were certified at free sync all the way up to free sync pro and so those capabilities that's specific um uh, settings whereas you can be certified as a particular tier of FreeSync. Now, cut to my graphics card, which is the 6800 XT, which came out after these tiers were established. So AMD through its drivers most likely made these companies get their FreeSync certified. And if you're not certified, then you don't have FreeSync. Now, I was able to actually actually um, verify this by going to the AMD website and you can see AMD has the list of their FreeSync certified monitors and it has here the FreeSync tiers and it does it by manufacturers. So if I go to my manufacturer, which is Viotech, you can see there's only three certified monitors and my monitor, the GN34C is not listed. So that proves that through the driver, AMD is not allowing uncertified monitors to have FreeSync. So you can see here, my monitor is not listed. And they have all the tiers there from premium down to FreeSync, but my monitor is not on it. So what to do? Well, I actually got a clue from one of these posters, one of the Redditors here on Reddit, and that's uh, Tiny Elderberry, who said in his post, using the custom resolution utility, which is a uh, actually an indie developed utility that actually lets you change um, the properties of your monitor that the OS and the driver recognize. And you could change the resolutions and all that stuff, hence the name custom resolution. But one of the things that it also lets you do is change the device ID. Now that actually got me thinking. So my monitor 
is actually a 34 inch 100, 100 hertz FreeSync. But the way these monitors work is that there's a bunch of different manufacturers, but there's only a couple of manufacturer companies that produce the panels. And some of those manufacturer companies that produce panels are Samsung, LG, and Sony. But the rest of those people that sell monitors don't actually make the panels. They will use the panels of those companies and then sell them. So companies like Asus, companies like Dell, and companies like my Vizio, or my uh, uh, Viotech, don't actually make the panel, but they sell monitors using those other companies' panels. So what I set out to do was find the manufacturer of my panel. And doing some internet research, turns out that my monitor is actually produced by Samsung. The panel that they use is actually a Samsung paddle, panel. As you can see here, 34 inches, a VA panel, just like the Viotech. It's free sync, it's 100 Hertz, just like my Viotech. And it's 13, it's a 3440 by 1440. And so my monitor is actually a Samsung panel that's being resold by Viotech. So what did I do? So I used the custom resolution utility to go ahead and change my Viotech into a Samsung. And if we go to the AMD FreeSync certified monitors, I go back here and I look for Samsung and I look for the CF 791, there it is, it's certified. So the actual panel maker is certified as FreeSync, but my company, the manufacturer is not certified. So what did that lead me to do? Well, that led me to use the CRU utility to change my monitor into the Samsung monitor. So let's go to this video here and this will show you what I did. So if you go into the AMD drivers, you can see that now my display is now the CF791. And you can see now it says FreeSync range and and it says FreeSync, it's enabled. So how did I do that? I used the CRU utility here, and then you go into the edit. So you hit edit, as I'll do here in the video, and then the ID. Now my ID for the Viotech had some weird symbols in it. It had at, 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 and zero, zero, zero. So I actually had to research and find the Samsung ID, and then put in the model number here in this section. And once I did that, I also edited the FreeSync range to something that was the same as the Samsung, which was 48 to 90. I hit OK. I saved it. And as you can see there, that's where it's represented. And it's also represented in CRU. I hit the save. And then in CRU, you go ahead and then you reset the drivers. And once I did that, it was recognized as the Samsung panel and then FreeSync was available for me to be selected. So all that is to say is that all you have to do. So if you run into this issue where you have an older monitor that will not be detected as FreeSync on a newer graphics card, what you need to do is research the panel maker of your monitor. Make sure that that panel maker is actually AMD FreeSync certified on the webpage, and then use the CRU utility to change your monitor into that panel, that certified panel maker, and you should be able to enable FreeSync on your monitor. Okay, sorry it took so long, but I wanted to explain how to get it done and how I got it working. So I hope that helps somebody out there and we'll see you out there in VR.